Yeah, how you processing it? How you doing? Not well. Not well at all. What do you do for somebody who believed in you when it literally seemed like nobody else did? Do you remember this? I called you and Gallipo. Yeah. I was like, hey, what do you think about me doing this? You're super insecure. Super like, insecure. Don't make fun of me. I'm, I'm, I'm vulnerable right now. One year into my church plant, I was in a pretty rough place. I'll spare you the details, but it was rough. I felt isolated, I felt alone, and I just knew that if I didn't change something drastically, then I, I don't know if I was gonna make it. I spent some time alone with God and I started asking who can help me and Zhang kept coming to my mind. So I finally got enough courage. I finally called him, he's in California. I thought there'd be no way. And so I just asked him the crazy question. Zhang, can you move to Arizona? <laughs> and the crazy thing is he said yes. I wish that was the end of the video and we're just celebrating all of this, but the reality is Zhang is moving. He's going back to California. I'll link the podcast below the reasons why he's leaving. It's no ill intent at all. It's just kind of life. We only have a few days left with him and I really wanna make it special. And honestly, part of me podcasting with him is for me to figure out what are like the few things he wants before he leaves. I wanna honor him, I want to thank him, I wanna make these last few days special. And so I had this terrible slash amazing slash terrible idea that I would think of the five love languages and then make it particular for him and do each of those five and bring you along. And I kind of, in a nonchalant way, brought up the five love languages to kind of get his vibe. And he said this. Um, Words of affirmation? No, no, I really don't care about that. Which is horrible. Gifts? But no, I have some- Service? So now I'm back to the drawing board. Okay, I think I got an idea. In the podcast though, Zhang did say he had this moment where he said what he truly loved and truly wanted. What, and I think, I've said this to a couple of people, I've never probably said this out loud, but I think something that I, I struggle with and I suffer from the most is I feel like this deep loneliness all the time. Mm. And I just always wanted to build people, like a build a community mm. that like you see in like movies or TV shows and you know, like bring them together and do all these things. And I yeah. have this like romanticized view of it all. So why not recreate a TV show? What was my idea at first? Roast. Oh, I thought like let's do a roast and just roast Jean. Boom, roast it. But then Caleb, you pull through, and what'd you say? I said we should just do the Dundies from the office. I think what we should do is get a bunch of trophies. He loves talking about people and expressing his sentiment more than people expressing sentiment to him. Huh? I mean, I'll give words of affirmation. I like doing that, but receiving them is kind of like I don't really know. So we get a bunch of trophies, and then we say, hey. You're on the spot. Here's a bunch of trophies you have to come up with right now. Would that be good? Right now, different <laughs> awards and why people deserve it. You're not gonna award, we're not gonna give him a heads up at all. Zhang would love this idea. I think he would. Yeah, I think that's sure. like, he would love to show off his creativity. Yep. This is so him. Okay, I just got even more excited because another part of the podcast, I asked like, what do you, what's the one thing you wish you can do? The reality is I wish I had a lot more conversations with people before I left, right? Like there's a lot of things that are unsaid. That's exactly what the Dundies are. These kind of look like trophies. Yeah, <laughs> they hold balloons. They're weights for like, you know, you attach balloons oh. to them. And oh! They're trophies. Boom, let's do it. I just poked my eye out, legit. Okay, Zhang. Yeah. Sunday morning, this is the last day. Yeah. This is last it. Sunday. How you feeling? Uh, tired. <laughs> tired. <laughs> so we have a uh, plan for tonight. There's a reason I have these labels. We're calling this night the Dundies but it's D-O-N-E, done these. Got it, got it. And we figured what you would like to do is actually hand out awards to people, describing them, calling them who they are, and giving them trophies. Yeah, that sounds terrifying. Oh gosh, this video's done. terrible then! I had this whole thing! Did you hate it? Jean would love this idea. I think he would. Here's what I think. I think it's because he's not a morning person. I don't think he's fully calculated what's happening. 
what, what, what did you say? I said, are you excited? He goes, I'm terrified. Yeah, that makes sense. So do we have to change the whole thing? No, make him do it. I heard you thought he wouldn't like it. Well, I was just nervous because I was like, is that a lot of stuff that he has to do his last day? Like, I just wanted, I didn't want you to have to do too many things. So what are you worried about? I said, what if it's not funny and like half the people are crying and half the people are confused because <laughs> they don't watch The Office. And they're like, oh, this is like a, a really rude name for a party. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's not funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very worried he's not going to be here. I'll be there with two minutes to spare. Look at that. I'm good. Hey man, I came up with some nuggies, but some of them are really mean. So the closer we get to this, the more awkward this feels. It's happening in like five minutes. Feeling a lot of pressure now. <laughs> I expected a lot less people to be here. Now it's going to be on the internet. It's going to be a rough one. <laughs> I guess so. If I get fired, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. And yeah. Just keep it going. Just keep it going. Man. Is he nervous? He says he is. Are you nervous? Yeah. This is going to be the worst thing ever. You're all going to hate me after this. I told him this morning and he's like, oh. And now he has a huge list of awards, so I think he's into it. So go ahead as you'd like. Hopefully this is a loving... I'm, I'm going to stop prefacing this, okay? We love you, Zhang. I'm terrified what you're going to say about us and excited. Okay, got it. First and foremost, this is an ALA, so not everybody wins an award. Sorry to the <laughs> private Christian schools. To the worst and the best human beings I know, uh, Caleb and Shelby, come up here. <laughs> yeah. Justin's always on my side for some crazy reason, and he's like just like the nicest person. Too much, too much sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Most likely to be pregnant next year. Jordan Van Camp. <laughs> uh, most likely to get famous from having a mental breakdown, Lauren McCallow. <laughs> a desire for every single one of my viewers is that you too would have people in your life that would believe in you when it seems like nobody else would, that would be willing to sacrifice so much because they believe the vision that God has given you. Zhang, I'll forever be grateful for you. And you know that uh, you better come visit. But thank you guys all for being here. Um, thank you so much for saying goodbye to me. It was really great to get to know you guys. If I had 50 more years, I would spend it all with you guys, hanging out, talking about life, and growing together. So I love you all. Thank you so much. That's it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>